afternoon guys just wanted to give a quick update on the dangerous curve diorama the police diorama that I'm doing um, finally finally calling this figure done um, being it's really my first figure in this scale I'm actually pretty happy with it. Uh, one thing I did learn any uh, and any time you watch a f figure painting video uh, the guys will always tell you how important it is to have your paint really really thin which is a piece of advice I never used to take uh, but on this figure I did do that and it is 100% true uh, you don't lose any detail you may have to do two or three coats to get good coverage, but it's better to build those coats up really, really thin. And like I said, you don't lose any, any of the detail at all. So uh, really, really happy with this for really my, my first real try. Um, the other thing I'm happy with on this, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, just let me zoom in here. And if it would focus, which it won't. There we go. So I use decals for the, I made my own. Decals for the, for the arm patches and the badge. As well as on the front of the cap. Um, and as well, those turned out really well as well. Much, much better than if I tried to glob some paint on there. So, uh, like I said, calling her done now. Um, and she's just waiting to go on the base. The other one, if you saw my earlier video, I was talking about how I wasn't happy with the hair. Uh, the hairline was way, way back high up on the forehead. And it just didn't look right. So, what I tried to do was use some epoxy sculpt to put some hair in the front. Now instead of looking half bald, she looks like she's from the 70s or 80s or something. But it's better than what was there. And uh, I'm certainly not a sculptor, so... Sorry. Certainly not a sculptor, so when we get some paint on this we'll see how it looks. Uh, I can't put this other arm on uh, until I get her seated in the car. Uh, this other arm is meant to be laid on the steering wheel. So I have to get the interior of the car done first and put onto the chassis uh, before I can place that arm down. Once that's down then I can start painting. Uh, it's a lot more flesh on this model, on this figure than was on the other one. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see how that comes out. Um, I'll have to take you off the mount to show you the base. I've finalized the police car and have it onto the baser now. So uh, just give me a second, hold on to your breakfast. Uh, we'll be going into handheld here. So just give me one second. Okay, guys, so you've seen this before uh, the base so the base is finished now uh, I just have to take off this uh, tape that I have around the edge uh, I'll leave that till the very last um, so the car is in position now it's it's not uh, glued down it's just held down by the wiring excuse me so I have this completely wired up now this is where the car will sit and um, just let me pause the video here and uh, we'll get some lights going. Okay guys, so here's what the car will look like lit up. Um, there will be a car in front of it here that will be pulled to the side. Um, so I didn't do any headlights or anything. All I lit was the push bar 
and the roof lights. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, so let me turn out a few lights here and see see how that looks. Okay guys, so this one looks like a little bit darkened. So I'm uh, really happy with how this uh, diorama is going so far. Uh, that was just a piece of a toothpick there. So yeah, pretty happy with how this uh, diorama is turning out so far. Um, uh, like I said, the base is finished. This car is finished. The police figure is finished. Uh, all I have left to do now is the Ferrari and the second figure. Uh, I haven't moved much on the Ferrari since the last video. I uh, just have it painted blue. Um, next step will be the chassis and then the interior. And uh, like I said before, once that's done, I can complete the second figure and get her arm attached. Um, so anyways guys, as, uh, as always, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you stay tuned.